What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we got a little bit more information from Treyarch kind of to finalize exactly how the prestige system is going to work. And it's kind of a split between the system we had in Modern Warfare and the classic prestige system from past Call of Duty titles. I will link all this information down in the description if you want to read over it because there's a lot of stuff kind of going on with this. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. Says, as always, you know, they talked about the launch day experience of leveling from 1 to 55 to unlock new creative class content. It says during the beta they showed players a slice of what to experience up to level 40. Today they're going to go into full detail with their deepest prestige system yet in, of course, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It says they heard from countless community members who love the grind for putting in time and effort to earn prestige icons with each milestone. But they also said they saw a significant portion of players, including veteran Black Ops players of you know past titles, who really did not like to prestige because they were afraid they're going to lose all their content, uh, you know, creative classes and all that kind of stuff perks. It says, with this feedback in mind, our designers set out to create a new progression system that builds upon all the elements players have come to love about prestige with some new, adva uh, some new advancements as well. It says, earn progression towards more prestige levels. Uh, than ever before without losing any of your content that you've already acquired. So now when you prestige, you're not going to lose anything like you have in past games. It's pretty much going to be the best of both worlds is the kind of the way they talked about it. There's always going to be a new goal to pursue and your progression towards your prestige keeps growing across seasons. Each new season offers more prestige milestones, new seasonal challenges to unlock, and more rewards uh, to earn. It says, uh, starting on day one in Black Ops Cold War, players will be begin the traditional uh, path, you know, from rank one to 55, which will unlock weapons, perks, wild cards, score streaks, field upgrades, and all that kind of stuff. It says, after completing rank 55, you will earn the seasonal level progression path and automatically earn your first prestige at season level one. Keep all your creative class content you've already unlocked. During the preseason period, between launch and the beginning of season one, you'll have the opportunity to uh, opportunity to reach up to three prestiges, as well as a weapon blueprint at season level 50. So they kind of break it down: prestige one at season level one, prestige two, and weapon blueprint at season level 50, and prestige three at season level 100. And starting with season one in December, you'll. Uh, your level will reset with every new season and your progress will resume from the highest prestige you achieved in the previous season. Each season will offer four different prestiges to achieve across the first 200 levels plus a new blueprint to earn at level 50. So they kind of broke it down after season one starts. Uh, your new prestige and weapon blueprint at season 50 yet again, new prestige at season level 100, new prestige at level uh, season level 150. And you prestige at season level 200. This means you can earn up to three prestiges before season one and four prestiges across each season after that for a total of 25 plus prestiges across all seasons. You also learn, earn uh, progression towards prestiges that come after your current one and be able to catch up to the latest available prestige if you didn't reach it during the previous season. It says if you reach level 200 in any season, you will also achieve the title of prestige master for that particular season. It says the journey doesn't stop there. If you want to keep climbing once you reach Prestige Master in a season, you can continue to level up all the way to level 1000 every season with the milestone rewards to earn at every 50 levels along the way. Also, they talked about uh, how does this compare to traditional Prestige systems. It's going to be 25 plus Prestige levels across all seasons, including the period between launch and Season 1, 6 Prestige Mastery titles, a thousand levels to climb each season for uh, when prestige mastery isn't enough of a challenge. Milestone rewards to every uh, to earn every 50 season levels, and for the first time you keep all your create a con uh, create a class content after you prestige. Also, uh, kind of in addition to this, they're going to have some new prestige keys as milestone rewards at every 50 season levels. At, uh, at the new prestige shop, you can earn prestige keys to unlock leg legacy, persisting icons, or you know icons from past Call of Duty games, which can be equipped if you have achieved the title of Prestige Master in that season. The prestige shop will be available in Season 1 for all players who have entered prestige and earned their first prestige key. The prestige content can only be unlocked with a prestige key, which is earned by playing the game. They also talked about kind of going forward the new leveling journey across Warzone and Modern Warfare with all players starting on this new progression path without losing any of their previously earned content from Warzone 
uh, you know, from anyone playing Warzone from the past uh, year. It says, for more information about how progression will work across all three games and the ways Black Ops Cold War will integrate into the future of Warzone, you know, I kind of talked about, you can go to their blog, some of the stuff I talked about in the video earlier today, which I will link in the top corner right now. Um, this new system seems to be, like I said, trying to tailor towards people that really love the old school prestige system, but then the people that really liked the way Modern Warfare handled it, or people that didn't like the prestige and past Call of Duty games because they didn't want to lose everything and have to start over with the creative classes and all that kind of stuff. I can understand kind of why they went with this new method. I'm not sure exactly if everyone's going to love it. It is a kind of neat idea to not have to worry about losing everything once you prestige. But then again, that grind I don't think is going to feel the same for a lot of hardcore prestige fans. People that just want to prestige and have that same old system like they used to, it's not going to quite be the same. Now, if you prestige, you're not really going to lose anything. So there's really no need not to prestige. You know, so you might as well always prestige because if you don't prestige, you're not going to, you know, it's really not going to hurt or help. And if you do prestige, it's not going to hurt or help you either. Besides just getting some new things for prestiging. So overall, I'm not sure how this is going to go over with the community. I'm really interested to see. Uh, what you guys have to say down in the comment section. Would you rather see the old prestige system or do you like this new kind of integrated system that has kind of put the old prestige system in with the system that Modern Warfare offered with being able to level up, you know, each individual season? Also, kind of give me a, your thoughts on, you know, how this is going to work just kind of in general. I mean, from what we talked about, do you think it's going to be too much of a grind? I mean, this may be turned out to be kind of crazy because going to a thousand level a thousand in a season seems pretty extreme in my opinion unless these prestige levels or these levels you're going to gain you know you gain them quickly with xp because in the past you guys know if you went to level a thousand prestige you know if you went to you know prestige 1000 in some past call of duty games it took a lot of play time to do that it took just about the entire year of the game being out to be able to do so so i'm assuming they must have sped up the process for you know for you to be able to do it from season to season anyway guys like i said leave me a comment with your thoughts and if you liked it hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live and be sure to check out everything down in the description gt racing uh, which of course is the affiliate here on the channel the community discord and my twitter are linked down there as well and i'll catch you all next time peace